good morning. Let's see if we're all ready to play sound splat. So the first thing that we're going to do is remind ourselves of all the different sounds that we know. We're going to have a look at the pronunciations. So let's start over here with s, a, t, p, i, n, m, d. Hope you're joining in. Let's start the next line. G, o, k, k, k. Two letters making one sound. Again, two letters making one sound. Two letters, one sound. We usually see this at the end of words. Again, two letters making one sound that we would normally see at the end of a word. Moving on to our phase three mat. J w x y z. And again, our two letters making one sound. Z w ch and sh. Hope you were able to join in with all of those sounds. Now, girls and boys, we're going to have a little look at whether you can point to a sound. So we know how to play sounds flat. I'm going to say the sound and you're going to point. Can you point to er, er? Well done if you pointed to er over here. Can you point to Well done if you pointed to p here. Can you point to oh, oh? Well done if you pointed to oh here. Last one, can you point to g, g? Well done if you pointed over here to g. Now, our sound mats are really important when we're trying to build words. Remember that we say the word into our hands so we can feel all the sounds. Then we sound it out and we use our sound mats to help us to sound out the words. So I wondered if we could spell some words together. The first word that I wanted us to spell was boss. And I had to go underneath here, can you see? Now, I couldn't use cursive writing like you can when you use your pencil and your paper. I had B and I found it here. B for birdie. O, oh, I found it here. And then I used S, -s at the end of my word, just here. B, O, oh, S. Can you do that? B, O, oh, S. So, Let's see if we can do that together now. When we write push, let's say it, push. Let's sound it, p, u, sh. And now let's find it on our word mat, our sound mat. We have p, u. What makes the sh sound? Let's find sh over here where the shoe is. So we're ready to write it now. We copy from our sound map. P, o, sh. Two letters making one sound, sh. Well done. Now let's see if we can spell will. Let's say it, will. Now let's find those sounds. W, ill. My first sound was w. Here it is on my sound mat. W. -i. 
Oh, my next sound was e. And my last sound was u. I'm going to pick the two u's that make one sound. Let's write that. W. Il. Will. Fantastic. Shall we have a go at spelling off? Off. Let's sound it out. Off. Say it again. Off. Sound it out. Off. Let's help us by looking on the sound mat. Here's my off. Oh, and here's my So I'll write those off. And I have one more final challenge for you girls and boys. If you have a look down at the bottom, it asks you to look at your phase three sound mat and look for the word that will help you to write goat. So I know I can say the word goat and I can sound it g. Oat. But what is making the O sound in goat? There's a big clue on this sound map because there is actually a picture of a goat and that will help you to spell the word goat. See if you can have a go at that on this line underneath. Have a lovely time doing activity one. Well done.